Hello, it's Medusa and welcome to this video. This is going to be a manga haul. So this will be from the beginning of January to the end of February. Also, majority of these manga are LGBT+. Um, I think only five of them aren't, so I will specify those. So actually, we're going to start off with the LGBT plus manga because it makes more sense to me. First is volumes one, two, and three of That Blue Sky Feeling. The story is by Okura and the art is by Koma Hashi. This is completed with three volumes. This is a BL series and that's all I know. I think it's going to be very wholesome and cute and I'm very much looking forward to reading this. Also, I feel like I need to own more BL because I literally have like no BL on my shelves. So yeah. Next I have A Tropical Fish Joins for Snow Volume 6 by Makoto Hijino. This is a Yeri series about a girl named Konatsu who moves to like a seaside town and she meets this girl, well not this girl, <laughs> um, she meets a girl named Koyuki and they become friends and become close and they're both a part of the aquarium club. It's very wholesome and cute, but this volume was depressing. <laughs> then I have volumes one through five of the Kasusen and series. This is another Yuri series. I'm not gonna pronounce all these titles because I don't want to, but volume one, two, three, four, and five. This series is currently ongoing and I love it a lot. Then I got volumes one and two of Love Me For Who I Am by Kata Konoyama. This has a non-binary main character and they work at an untraditional maid cafe and it's so freaking amazing. Please read this. I also got volume three of After Hours by Yusu Nishio. Um, I completed the series with the third volume. This is a Yuri with adult woman and it deals with the night scene and clubs and DJing and it's very very amazing. Then I got Adachi and Shimamura volume 1, the manga. The art is by Moke Yuzuhara, the original story is by Hitoma Iruma, and the character design is by Nan. This also has an anime and a light novel so there is many forms you can read this story and it's so cute. It's so cute. This is Yuri as well. And the last LGBT plus manga of this haul is Days of Love at Seagull Villa. This is by Kodama Naoko. This is another Yuri series. <laughs> I just really love Yuri. But I, <laughs> I am very excited for this. I think this series will only be three volumes long, but I'm not entirely sure about that. Now onto all the manga that does not have LGBT plus characters. First is Dissolving Classroom by Junji Ito. This manga is so freaking beautiful. Like, oh my gosh. This is a horror manga as, you know, Junji Ito, that's what he does. It's so amazing. Like, it's basically about these siblings who just cause problems wherever they go. And it's so freaking amazing. I love it. I also got Remina by Junji Ito. I have a manga vlog on my channel where I read this. Another amazing manga by Junji Ito. <laughs> This is about a planet that like is coming towards Earth and it eliminates all the planets in its way. And it's just so freaking awesome. Like I just love this a lot. <laughs> Junji Ito is amazing. Next I have Toilet Bound Hanaka-kun by I Dalro. This was out of stock for a minute. <laughs> I couldn't get it, but it came back in stock recently. So I just snatched it up. I love this anime so much. I watched it four times in two weeks which doesn't seem like a lot, but like, that's a lot to me. <laughs> so this is about Yashiro, who summons Hanako-san, which is one of the school's seven mysteries. And Hanako-san is in the third stall of the third floor girl's bathroom. Yashiro wants this boy to like her. So after she summons Hanako-san, it turns out he's a boy and Hanako-kun. That was such a bad explanation. I'm so sorry. Oh my God. So it turns out Hanako-san is actually a boy and that's why the title is Hanako-kun. You get it? Okay. This art style is so freaking sick. I love it so much. This is like way different than what I usually read. And like, it's just so great. I love this so much. 
And the last manga of this haul is volumes two and three of The Golden Sheep by Kaori Ozaki. This is a three volume manga series, so I have completed it. This is about a girl who moves away from her hometown and then years later she returns and thinks that all her friends from this hometown will be the same as they were whenever they were younger, but that is not the case. So here is all the manga I got this year so far. I don't buy a lot of manga, so don't be expecting a lot of manga hauls. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and bye.